Now to that all out manhunt for a missing Florida man, Brian Laundry. So the boyfriend of Gabby Petito, still the only person of interest in her disappearance. Officials still awaiting autopsy results of the body believed to be Petito that was found over the weekend in Wyoming. A search warrant executed on Laundry's home Monday. His parents told police that they haven't seen him since last Tuesday when he allegedly drove his Mustang to a nature preserve near his home and never returned. Authorities now under fire for not questioning Laundry before he disappeared. You could have placed a surveillance team on him or, or, or at least maybe two vehicles, unmarked vehicles, to follow him wherever he might go. A newly released 911 call painting a different picture of an altercation between Laundrie and Petito less than two weeks before she was last seen. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. Now this comes as we're learning new details about the final text sent from Gabby's phone. It was sent to her mother and reads, quote, can you help Stan? I just keep getting his voicemails and missed calls. But her mother says Stan is Gabby's grandfather and Gabby never referred to him that way. So officials had been expecting to hear more from Brian Laundrie's attorney, but he scrapped his press conference set for this afternoon after speaking with the FBI.